I'm Lance Burke and I'm in our CTO's office here at VMware. I concentrate mostly on data center uses of our server products, specializing in production use with our partners and our more interesting customers. ESXi was a very interesting evolution. We started off with our ESX hypervisor, which is actually built on a small kernel that's specifically built for virtual machines. And on top of that, we had what we called the console OS, which was really just a special virtual machine that was there to help manage the VM kernel and also provided extra services that were harder to implement at first on top of our, our own kernel. Those were silly little things like low speed IO, CD-ROMs, floppies, parallel ports, serial ports, and some of the key, uh, keyboard, mouse, video kinds of management that you needed for each virtual machine. And eventually we started moving those services out of the console OS and we were having them run directly on top of the VM kernel and as we hollowed out the console OS we found that it really wasn't adding any additional value. It turns out that the VM kernel is the same VM kernel that we've been shipping in our ESX Classic products since, since we started uh, delivering data center products. So the capabilities are exactly the same as what you would get in, in ESX Classic. There's a, a misconception that because it's smaller, it's somehow less capable, uh, but nothing could be further from the truth. Uh, ESXi provides everything that you would expect in our Classic hypervisor. And in addition, because you don't have that console OS, you actually have more resources that you can devote to your virtual machines. One of the surprises during the ESXi development was when we took some of those processes that were running inside of the console OS environment and we moved them on top of the hypervisor directly, we got a tremendous performance increase for many of our many uh, virtual machine workloads. And when we traced it back, we found that's because although the processes in the console OS were not particularly resource intensive. They were serialized because the console OS was a single CPU virtual machine. And of course, our hypervisor can schedule all of these services simultaneously, so we were able to get a lot more parallelism and thus more throughput. Customers benefit from ESXi for a number of reasons. Uh, the first is that ESXi itself is much smaller and thus is much easier to configure. Uh, in fact, it's possible to network boot ESXi and perform all configuration remotely. And from boot to vMotion, we've measured it as less than three and a half minutes on many typical configurations. Second, you don't have to do any patching of the console OS because we've eliminated that. Uh, this uh, turns out to be the bulk of the maintenance tasks when, uh, in our patches and update releases, absolutely eliminated. Third, and this was really a, a, a side effect, is that for our Windows only shops, they were never happy having a console OS because it meant bringing Linux into their environment and they needed additional expertise. Conversely, for our Linux shops, they were never happy with the console OS because our version of the console was never the same version of Linux that they were running. So by eliminating the console OS, we eliminate many, many management tasks, and we think that this simplifies operation and provides the same level of value with far less cost. <laughs>